Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show how you can reverse or flip one or multiple Excel columns in a fast and easy way. The Excel file on the screen contains some basic information about a few countries. Let's say that you have listed the countries from less to more interesting for you, and you would like to change them from most to least interesting. You can flip these columns with a simple trick or with a function. I'm going to show you both and we are going to start with the trick. You first add or select an empty column where you put the numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. To do this, you just type 1 next to the first value and 2 next to the second value. When you select these two numbers, you can double click on the small square to make consecutive numbers appear. Next, you select the entire table, including the added column. You do this by selecting a random cell in your table and hitting the keyboard shortcut Ctrl A. Then you go to the home ribbon Select Sort and Filter, and then Custom Sort. You click on it and sort by column F, which is the new column we used. You sort on cell values, and then choose to sort from largest to smallest. If you now click OK, you see that all columns are reversed. Finally, you delete the added column, and everything looks the same, but with all rows in reverse order. This method is great when you want to flip or reverse multiple columns at once. Now some people are more comfortable with functions. You can of course reverse a column by using a function as well. We are going to use the index function for this. We will create a second table where the columns are flipped again, so we start by copy-pasting a few of the titles next to the table. Then you type equals index to open the function. First you have to insert an array then a row number, and optionally a column number. The array is basically a group of cells that we want to work with. In this case, the cells we have to insert for the country column are A2 till A21. We need to set these values fixed, as we are going to drag the formula down, and we need the range to stay in place. To do this, I'm going to stand on value A2 and hit the F4 key. For A21, I'm going to do the same. Then we need to add the row number, so in our case, we are going to add one to the total number of rows, which is 22. To reverse or flip our values, we are going to add minus row A2 and close the brackets. If you drag the formula down, the output of the row function changes automatically to A3, A4, and so on for each cell that you go downwards. Our country column is now in the reversed order. To extend the index function to population, we drag it to the side. Our fixed values need to be changed from A2 to B2 and from A21 to B21. I'm going to drag it down in the same way and now our population column has been reversed as well. I personally prefer the first method as it's a bit faster to flip columns. With this we can conclude our Excel reverse column tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel tutorials or if you are interested in general software related content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.